Hello and uh, welcome once again from Malta. The purpose of this video, apart from showing you over here today, is going to be to show you um, a little bit how how to set up uh, yourself when sitting on the car seat to use correct positioning of the of your feet when it comes to the pedals it sounds simple well it's not that difficult however there is um, a lot of things that can be said about it um, bear with me because as you might uh, know already from my previous videos I, I am a driving instructor and I used I'm used to having uh, someone um, asking me questions and respond to what I'm saying and so I'm, I'm, I'm watching the body language and uh, answering um, accordingly um, on these videos it's going to be a bit different <laughs> obviously because I have no one near me um, so I'm trying my best to explain in the best way I could. Um, if you have any words that maybe I can uh, say them better, um, it would be nice to tell me because that's how we can increase our um, database right when it comes to when it comes to um, using the right words anyway i'm going in the car now enjoy the view for the time being listen to the sounds of the sea and uh, yeah i will start explaining regarding um, the position of your feet to use the pedals of the car so now I'm sitting in the car I have a nice view in front of me and as we as I said before I would like to talk to you about the pedals of the car. Um, okay, so some important things to start off with. It's very important to set up the ideal position in um, on, on your seat. Um, we will talk about this next time. It's called the cockpit drill. Um, uh, it's basically how you should set up yourself for the correct uh, um, driving position because it, this determines if you drive safely, comfortably, um, not not being set up correctly, it will make you more tired. But anyway, we'll discuss that next time because it requires a whole video for itself. For today, we are just going to speak about the um, correct positioning of your feet when it comes to using the pedals. As you can see, this car has three pedals because this is a manual vehicle. Um, it's the Peugeot I showed you in previous videos, my car. Um, so this is the accelerator, gas pedal. Sometimes I call it gas pedal, accelerator, or it could also be called throttle. However, um, I tend to be corrected because throttle could mean um, that it's being referred to uh, the motorcycle throttle. But anyway, let's call it accelerator. The most important is that we know what we are talking about. And this is the brake and this is the clutch. Um, <clears throat> one very important thing, as you might have noticed, the left foot, which is this one, we use it only for the clutch, nothing else, it's very important. And the uh, the accelerator and brake pedal, we only use the right foot, okay? Um, because these are opposites. 
sometimes you might need to use both feet for example to change gear while braking um, so if you are doing this pressing the brake with the with the left foot and you get caught wanting to change the, ped the, the, the gears obviously that's going to be a big problem and another very big problem is that this foot is not trained I'm, I'm assuming that you know how to drive already this foot is not trained to to press the brake so if you do go on the brake you're going to press it a lot because this foot is used to pressing um, a lot the force is greater than the one on the brake it's not actually greater um, the, the distance is, is deeper it goes further in um, uh, as you might have noticed my feet my heel is always resting on the floor this is something very important why because if you do this you're going to get tired if, you, if your heel is not touching the floor you're going to get tired and your your uh, control is going to be choppy for example the brake uh, you're not going to be smooth with the brake because you have a lot of weight and when you brake the, the, the your feet with, with the momentum goes forward and it again your brake is not going to be as smooth it's actually quite dangerous sometimes um, so it's very important that your he your heel is touching the floor resting on the floor and when you go from the clutch to the brake we call this pivoting because if you notice over here my heel is not moving and this makes for a lot of smoothness in driving and uh, you can be more agile to go for the brake you see if you do this um, there is more roughness over there so um, uh, again the drive is going to be less smooth um, another important thing if you notice that I'm using my foot this part of the foot not my my complete leg not my complete leg um, so even more like that you have more dexterity more flexibility if you use your foot like this you see I'm, I'm moving with my um, I cannot get to where it right now <laughs> my uh, anyway this um, so you are moving from from uh, the the upper part of the leg you, again you have less less um, flexibility so this is very important for very smooth control this will make a lot of dif difference in um, being confident with the with the uh, with driving it's very important as i always say that it's like when you go in, into your car it's like wearing a shoes if the shoes is not uh, correct you're not going to be comfortable same goes with the pedals um, it's very important that uh, you use them uh, smoothly you feel comfortable with them and you know how to use them not just pressing them because there's a very big difference between pressing them like an on off switch on off um, and using them according to how much you need to use them um, uh, for the clutch and this is why many people suffer at the beginning to to move off if you do this you see i'm not touching the the floor if you do this it's going to be more difficult you see my, my whole foot is going up it's going to be more difficult to move off because when you're moving off and you are a beginner and you're not used to um, your, your your foot holding on when you are moving off the momentum is going to take back your foot like this when you move forward and the more you move the more it takes it back so there's no control over there so the ideal is to rest your foot when you press the clutch at the moment it's pressed all 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 of it when you press the clutch and rest your heel 
and then start letting off the clutch you can hear you can also hear my foot dragging on the floor so if something happens i can lock my heel and it doesn't continue um doing what it wants basically um this this is, is something very very important um and and in fact many people even people that um know how to drive already still suffer from this um because the clutch obviously um has to be very smooth maybe next time we speak about uh, how to move off smoothly there are some very um interesting actually it's one trick which we call the 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 biting point um If you noticed also, I'm using my foot with the tip of my foot, not, not with the middle of my foot. Obviously that continues to help me with the dexterity. It's very difficult to do it like that. Many beginners do it like that. And that's, that's very, very, um, I'm not going to say wrong, but uh, it could be done much better. In fact, I encourage driving instructors um because this this makes all the difference in in car control and confidence the more confidence in control pupils have the faster they are going to learn the more uh, um, they are going to appreciate what they are doing if the control is jerky it's uh, it's going to let them down um in fact when i'm teaching someone i really focus on this um, in the future I will also explain how I take it into steps how when it comes to car control because it's very important um, to to pay attention for what they are doing with with their feet because it as again it makes all all the difference um, yes something else I remembered um, <clears throat> and I will end on this is the the type of shoes you should use. If you notice, I'm dragging my foot, my foot over the ped, the gas pedal, and going on the clutch, on the brake. Sorry. Um, if I have shoes that um, have stripes, or or um, like like for example, football shoes, that's not good for driving. Um, Ideally, you use uh, shoes or, or slippers like I have at the moment that have a flat surface um, because, for example, if it has... Um, uh, let me give you an example with, with um, running shoes. Running shoes usually are not like this. They have a lip. So what happens is you go for the brake and it, it gets stuck like this. There's a way around it, obviously, by feeling the on noticing, but he, and then releasing and going on the brake. But obviously, you're losing braking time, which could means which could mean life or death, especially if you're going to hit someone, for example, a pedestrian or 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 um, dog, cat, whatever. Um, obviously, always pay attention for what's happening behind you. Um, all the time so you can see um, what buffer you have when you come to braking um, obviously it's not good to wear high heels to drive um, some people tell me uh, I, I, I would prefer without any shoes like barefoot without uh, rather than high heels because it's very dangerous and obviously if you are high heels you are like this you, you lose all the dexterity and control is very difficult and um, when it comes to barefoot i never tried barefoot to be honest um actually i did try many years ago uh, i didn't feel comfortable it's true that you really feel the pedals but uh, it could also hurt sometimes um some people say if you want to really drive economically you should drive barefoot because um your foot can feel more what what it's doing however um i always counter that that uh, that with uh, safety comes before economy so 
ideally it would be shoes that uh, that it's sturdy in your foot not flip-flops for example or sandals that's dangerous because it gets caught um anyway make make ask questions yourself before using uh, shoes to drive or slippers um, just make sure you're safe <laughs> i hope that was helpful if you have any other ideas i'm sure there is i i also have more myself but i'm trying to keep the video um as uh, uh, short as possible and also as i mentioned before this is something new for me doing uh, videos um something i wanted to do for a long time and uh, when i have someone next to me it's much much easier for me to do it because if i see that they are doing something um which uh, uh it's I, I like to say it this way um it, it, sometimes i i when when i am teaching i i start by uh asking them to tell me how they do it because you start noticing that they know already a lot even though they never have never touched a car um so and they start appreciating more like that what they are doing and uh, they they the fulfillment is is much greater <clears throat> so obviously if they are i see them using for example the foot the the, the uh the legs uh, like this by by keeping their heel on the floor i compliment them for that i watch it and i compliment them so they build up on positivity and obviously i don't need to explain that much about it if they are um, anyway that that's basically um why i feel better when someone is near me um thank you very much for watching um i hope you like this video there will be more of it um, and such a beautiful view up here. Goodbye.